Hi, Coach, if you can open this up. Um, obviously, I'm really proud of our team. Um, to be a really good Purdue team, it's extremely well coached. That's really kind of owned us, to be quite honest, for the last two years. Um, I don't know if we were a little sluggish or we were a little bit nervous, but we weren't very good in the first half. And, um, you know, halftime, I just went in and I just tried to change the body language. It really wasn't about X's and O's. It was just changing our body language and believing we could win. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. And play well. And um, we did change some things offensively. We changed, <coughs> ran guys off baselines, played through the post. And, um, and I think because we scored early in the second half, it gave us confidence. And then our defense was. Terrific. I mean, you can't say enough about Daryl Marcel and Anthony Town and those two kids all night just chasing around. And they don't get a lot of credit, but our big guys need to get credit too because on every handoff and ball screen, they stayed a long time and showed hard and played without fouling. It really wore them down as the game went on. So um, keep saying it, guys. We get better. We get better every possession. We're, we're, we're really coming. You know, I heard we had 21 straight points out of a freshman. And. Um, you know, defensively, we're, just, we're really getting to a high level. And um, in our half court, I told our guys before this game, our half, we weren't very good at Nebraska. Our half court offense has to get better. And our half court offense was really, really good in the second half. Questions? No? Mark, uh, back in December, after the game, you talked about how young the team was. Yeah. Uh, tonight, the three freshmen, especially 21 straight points. What, what's the difference between what they did tonight and, and, and sort of what they've done over the last two months. You know, it's crazy. I went back and watched that film today and it made my stomach hurt because, man, we were young. And um, we just played hard and, and we got it up and we had no business uh, in that game. And we've come a long way. So, hey, they're young guys, but they have a lot of experience now and uh, they just keep getting better. I'm on Aaron Wiggins all the time, shoot more. And we kept kind of coming off screens. Uh, we were great against the double team. Aaron, you know, Eric's done it all year. He had back to back threes for us, which is huge. Tied the score. Um, you know, and um, it's good. It's a good feeling. And then Sticks, Sticks was as bad as he could be, and he was as good as he could be. And he still didn't make any threes, I don't think. Um, but he was terrific uh, around the rim. And defensively, he was much better than second. Um, what did you see from Daryl in the second half on Carson? And how big is that for him to my guard? Yeah, well, you know what? Daryl's got to understand that what he, what he's doing for our team is just as important as Anthony's scoring or Bruno's scoring or Bruno's rebounds. And I think he's accepted that. And the thing I like the most is that I think Daryl was having a lot of fun. He had a smile on his face and he was really enjoying the moment. And that's all I was asking the guys to do. Because it's the best time of their life, playing a big game in front of a sold out arena. You can't get here by 6.30. Um, but I, I kind of told our guys when the game started, I said, play well, Billy will be full by the end. Just play well. And then the guys had fun. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 Two five one twenty nine hundred, or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Patrick, here, right? Mark, you mentioned Eric's two threes, but the way that they unfolded with him kind of shaking Edwards off the way he did, yeah. and then the open three off the off the inbound. How much did that kind of galvanize you guys, especially after they had responded to your initial push? That way? well, I I, I think. Um, he made him fall, but the play was for Anthony. And Anthony earlier in the year might not have thrown it right back to him, but that's just how, how much confidence Anthony has in Eric. And that was, it wasn't an easy shot. But Eric, like I said, is the first one in the gym and the last one to leave. Most times he's in there working. So that was big. And then the out of bounds play was something we haven't shown. And I knew Eric would knock it down and make us look good. So uh, it was great uh, to see. Andy, 
Matt Painter just mentioned how freshmen oftentimes he notices are difficult uh, to learn how to defend, I guess, early. Yeah. Have you noticed that in the past, and how impressive is it that your underclassmen group can come out here and what, kind of shut them down the second half? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but it's pretty amazing what these young groups are doing defensively. He's right, and then, you know we talked before the game. I said they're so you know, defensively, you guys are so good. And we're doing it to five freshmen. Um, you know, and tonight our upperclassmen were great with Daryl and Anthony and Bruins, um, two sophomores upperclassmen. Um, but uh, you know, they work at it, and we work, we work, we work, we work hard at it, and. Uh, it takes time to learn, you know. I think where we've come the furthest with the young guys is they're playing smart. Okay, we made some mistakes in the first half. We didn't play as smart as we needed to be. In the second half, we played smarter. We were closer to shooters. There were certain shots we wanted to give up, and we gave them up, and they missed them for us. Um, so it is pretty impressive. It really is. And I, and I think we can get better defensively. Question, Scott. Mark, you kind of touched on it earlier, but <clears throat> you look at Jay on, he had 14 of 16 points in the second half. But I think more importantly, it just seemed like his decision making was kind of completely different. I mean, yeah. is there anything you said to him, or did he just kind of do that on his own? Or? No, he's, he's just a hell of, he's a heck of a player. But I just, get your head up, sticks. You're, you're a great player. You just got to play better. My, my whole thing was body language at halftime. Just, hey guys, we win this half by nine. Billy's going to be full. We can win, we can win by nine. That's what it was about. And he was, he was terrific. And uh, we're really hard to guard when I put him at the five. We're really hard to guard, and that kind of got him going a little bit. And then he was much tougher. And then I was really proud how he stepped up and made the two free throws and switched him both. And so, you know, just to give you an understanding, we haven't shot well the last two games, free throw line. We were number one in the league going into that. We take a two minute water break like every 20 minutes. And our starters, most of the time, six, top six guys, shoot free throws during that water break. And it just shows you how committed they are to, to being really good. Thanks, you're right. Coach, uh, obviously you want to enjoy this one, but uh, can it? No, can not ask it. <laughs> Don't do it. Can, okay, can one like this provide confidence yeah. and, and for your team of going into a very difficult road game upcoming? Well, first of all, it was great to be home. Okay, we had to reintroduce ourselves to our fans. They forgot what we looked like in person. So it was great to be home. Now we got two more on the road. So uh, it is what it is. We're comfortable out there. We're getting better right now. So um, I don't know what we are. I think there's six games left. Uh, what are we, 10 and 4? Six games left. And let's go see what we can do. Last one, Tom. Uh, at one point, I think. You had like nine turnovers early in the second half. You know, I think in nine. seven and a half, yeah, we had back to back. We were have one and had one. What was the difference in terms of their decision making? You said they were smart. What was the difference in what they did? Bruno kept a quick jump in the pass. Um, that was his. And I think Anthony just settled down. The other guys, we play a lot more poise. You know, our half court offense was better. We were very confident. And we work on it. We, we, we keep turnovers in every drill we do, and we talk about it, and we're trying to get better, and a young team, and, you know, 11's a good number for us, it really is. Um, and Anthony's not gonna have six every night, so, um, just gotta keep, just keep working on it, and talk about it, and it's part of getting better in half court offense. Uh, so, we're coming, we're getting better. Thanks, guys.